Greetings, 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 brothers and sisters, greetings. First and foremost, as we get into this word, we must acknowledge our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, for allowing this word to come out. I hope you sincere. Brothers and sisters are truly, truly edified by tonight's word. And the name of tonight's word is called Having Faith in the Lord Allow You to Walk on Water and Not Be Scared to Sink, man. That's right. Name of tonight's word is called having faith in the Lord allows you to walk on water and not be scared to sink, man. That's some serious faith, ain't it? And that's what I want to speak about, faith. You know, we can't lose sight of faith, man. A lot of us is going through it. A lot of us is going through it to the point where they're looking for a miracle. And guess what? If that's you, if you're going through things in life to the point where you're looking for a miracle to happen, that only means to strengthen your faith. You dig? Why? Because Yahushai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, he delivered many miracles. And even his disciples witnessed a few of those miracles. And imagine witnessing miracles take place. That's way over the head. That, that, that's really hard to process. That's really hard to comprehend. It's, it's, really, it's really unbelievable when you think about it. And the, and the disciples got to witness Yahweh perform miracles, man. That, that, that's, that's a hell of experience, man. And my point is faith. We have to have faith, man. Faith is the one thing that will keep you breathing, that will keep you moving forward, that will keep you believing that there's hope, there's chance. A lot of us is going through it in life. A lot of us is, is dealing with difficult times. And I'm here to tell you, man, if you can tap in that thing that we call faith, do <laughs> When you got faith in the Lord, it will allow you to walk on water and not be scared to sink, man. Dig that. We're going to come to you in Matthew chapter 14, verse 25 through 31, man. And as we get into this story, um, what are we talking about, brothers and sisters? We're talking about faith. And we're talking about those that might be going through it to where they need a miracle. Understand, Yahweh performed many miracles and his disciples, okay, witnessed some of these miracles. And one of the miracles they had witnessed was Yahweh feeding 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fishes, man. If that ain't a miracle, I don't know what is. And when the disciples witnessed that, it was over their head, man. Now, as we go into verse 25, Matthew chapter 14, it reads, And in the fourth watch of the night, Yahweh went unto them, which were the disciples, walking on the sea. What you see on the screen is Yahweh walking on the sea. Verse 26, and when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, it is a spirit, and they cried out for fear. So they couldn't believe it, man. The Lord was walking on water. They couldn't fathom that. They couldn't, they, they just, it was over their head. They couldn't process it. So they were in extreme fear because it was a spirit they couldn't recognize. It was almost like they thought the Lord was demon possessed or something or under a, a crazy spirit or something. They, it was over their head to see Yahweh walking on the sea. As you see the disciples on the boat, he's walking on the sea like you see on the screen. Verse 27, and it reads, But straightway Yahweh spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. So in other words, Yahweh was saying, It ain't no spirit. It ain't nothing weird. 
It's me. It's really me. This is what I do. Y'all just seen me perform the miracle of feeding 5,000 people, okay, with five loaves of bread and two fishes. This is me. This is what I do. This is, it is I. Be not afraid. Be not struck with fear. Okay? Do not be alarmed. Do not be put to flight. Do not feel terrorized. Okay? And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. So Peter is like, okay, then, if that's what it is, then let me, let me get some of that action. Verse 29, Matthew 14, and it reads, And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Yahweh So what you see on the screen, this is exactly what Peter did. He got out of the ship, like you can see the rest of the disciples, and he actually walked on the water. You see him walking to go to Yahweh But check out what happened in verse 30. But when he saw, and we're talking about Peter, but when he saw the wind boisterous, when he saw the wind, okay, that was strong, when he saw the wind being very violent, he was afraid. He was struck with fear. He was terrorized, okay? And began and beginning to sink. He began to go downward. And he cried, saying, Lord, save me. Listen to that, y'all. He walked on the water to go to Yahweh. But when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid. He began to sink and cry, saying, Lord, save me. And in verse 31, and immediately Yahweh stretched forth his hand and caught him, who was Peter, and said unto him, O thou of little faith, Wherefore didst thou doubt? See that? So what are we dealing with, brothers and sisters? This thing called faith. And that's exactly what Peter lacked. Okay. Little faith. Thou of little faith. What is little faith, brothers and sisters? Trust in too little. Little faith is a thing called lacks confidence. You see, he lacked confidence. See, what happened is Peter took his eyes and focused off Yahweh Shai and fixed his eyes on the surrounding conditions, which was the boisterous, strong, violent wind. And when he did that, he began to sink. Why? Because he broke his faith. What's faith? Faith, trustworthiness, st strong conviction, strong belief. Peter broke that. See that? He lacked confidence. But the Lord, if you have trustworthiness in the Lord, he will allow you to walk on water like Peter did, but he's not going to be scared to sink. Why? Because if he know the Lord has performed many miracles, he know the Lord is actually walking on water himself and he telling you to come walk on water. That means he got you. That means the Lord is letting you know, I want to see how much faith you really got in me. And Peter flunked the test. He took his eyes and focused off the hour side as he was walking on the water and fixed it on the surrounding conditions of the boisterous, strong, violent wind. And he broke his faith. And once he broke his faith, he began to sink, man, and asked for the Lord to save him. So what's the moral of the story? Peter lacked faith in the Lord. And when you lack faith in the Lord, man, <laughs> every time you attempt to walk on the water, you're going to you're going to sink, man. So as we close out this word, man, faith, having faith in the Lord, no matter what you're dealing with, no matter what you're going through, man, stay faithful, stay prayed up, stay believing that the Lord 
is going to rescue you, that the Lord is going to save you. And I'm talking about those that's living their best, trying to be as obedient as possible, trying to be as righteous as possible in the eyes of the Lord. When you take up on that lifestyle, trying your darnest to be the best you can be, trying to be the best spiritual law abiding citizen you can be, the Lord sees that. And you live that way and you exercise faith in him. Man, please, you can walk on water and not be scared to sink, man, because you believe you have a strong belief. You have a strong conviction. You have strong trustworthiness in the Lord that he got you and you're going to be straight. If he could feed 5,000 peoples with five loaves of bread and two fishes, you better believe you can walk on water and not be scared to sink, man, when you got that same faith in the Lord, man. I hope you sincere brothers and sisters were truly, 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 truly edified by tonight's word. I hope somebody was motivated, inspired um, with tonight's word. Somebody that's really going through it and has lost faith. Hopefully after tonight, man, you can regain your faith and have a strong conviction, have a strong belief, have strong trustworthiness in the Lord and know that no matter what you're going through, no matter what circumstances you're dealing with, know the Lord got you. Relax. Shalom.